All right, I'm gonna try a new technique with this next press, and uh, I'm gonna add some humidity to it. Yeah, and I think my cat wants to try it out as well. So that one has some issues down there. So these are great to just practice with. But what I'm looking for is I'm looking for something that has what I would call impact damage right on one of the corners that's a little bit harder to get out in a press, uh, the, the standard modern quick press. Like this has a little bit of curling. I'm not ready to jump in and handle curling to see if that gets out with a quick press or it needs humidity. Um, yeah, I'm just looking for something, some sort of defect that's very specific. Um, here we go. All right. So that right there, that is what I would call uh, some sort of impact damage or corner folding. And I don't know if you could see this on camera, but this is, um, it's definitely occurring on all the pages. So yeah. So right there on that purple page. So that's gonna require um, some pretty significant amount of pressing and repair technique to just get that corner resolved. The book looks pretty good otherwise. I'll just kind of give it uh, a once over here so you can see the whole book before it goes into the press. And I walk you through the humidification process um, doesn't look too bad. There's an issue there. Hard to see it starting. Yeah, that's right on the yellow. It's kind of hard to tell, but there, there's definitely an issue in the spine right there. Slight bending towards the top, but not too bad. Uh, corner splitting, that's nothing I can do about that. That's just how the book arrived. A um, little bit of some folding, really not too bad. So this would be what I would say would be typical, a um, little bit in the back there as well, some folding. Uh, that's pretty bad right here. Yeah, right there. So that is something I would think in a, in a modern quick press that comes out on its own. I don't, don't believe that that would require humidity, but that's what I'm trying to resolve is that corner there. So I'm gonna test 
with this book to see if uh, adding some steam through a humidification process does the trick. Or should I say, does the tick. All right, so let's continue the process by adding some humidity to the book. And we're going to focus on getting that, uh, that corner to relax. So I have this portable steamer, it's pure steam. I'll put a link to it in this video. And essentially, uh, I have it filled with some distilled water. And uh, it's pretty much as easy as turning it on. It'll take about a minute to warm up. And when it's warm, it will be making quite a bit of noise. So we'll wait for that to get going. Meanwhile, I'll go ahead and set up the book. So I noticed this one also has those thicker staples. And yeah, that noise that you hear is the pure steam getting ready to go. Um, so I'm going to use two magazine boards for the middle like I did in the previous uh, attempt. Just because I, I don't want those staples being pressed through the book. So I'm going to put two boards. Hard to show on camera. Let's see if it's... yeah. And then I use 65 pound cardstock for the front and back cover. And I hold the book down this way. And I'm going to load it in. The Pure Steam is ready to go. You can hear that bubbling. It's definitely, definitely steaming. Move a little closer here. I don't know if you can see that steam coming out. But I'm going to uh, just move the book slightly up and down until I see the page start to curl and then I know it's ready to go. And already you can see it lifting up there. I'm just going to run it across one more time. And then while I'm here, I think there was an issue on the back. Yeah, up in here there was, a, there was an issue there. I can see the page relaxing up there already. You can see the curl just slightly. I don't want to overdo it too much, but also I want to kind of find out what the limitations are here because this is a free comic book, so I'm kind of overdoing it a little bit. And I'm not just holding it directly like against the steam because water, if you just saw water drip out there, um, I don't want to get liquid on it. So I'm just kind of giving it, it should be good to go. And now I'm going to kind of do the middle just a little bit. Okay. So it's definitely ready. You can really see, I, I probably overdid it there. You can see the curling. I'm going to turn on the press and get that warmed up. While I wait, I'm going to take a look here. Can you see a little bit of the curling happening? So this book is ready to go. You can already see just from that uh, humidity treatment alone here on the front with the curling as well. Um, even that corner, as bad as it was, just that little extra humidity actually helped it relax. Let me get the light on it right there. It's definitely still damaged, but it's actually not as bad just to... Uh, just having it gone through that uh, that spot steaming process. I tried to hold the steam through the middle and that might be something where I need to practice my speed with which I get the book steamed and then um, setting up the sandwich. So again, uh, with practice and time, I'll have this figured out and down to more of a science, but you can see here even the, the board itself was starting to uh, curl along with the cardstock. So probably did a little bit too much humidity with this, but we're going to give it a shot anyway just to see um, how it turns out. So I'm going to open the press and lay down magazine board, glossy side up, one sheet of SRP, 
right in the middle. And then I typically will put the book uh, with the most significant issue towards where the press is closing just for that little extra piece of pressure. So I'm going to lay the book, this book this way. Another piece of SRP paper, another magazine board, glossy side down. And then last, last but not least, my aluminum plate right on top. And down it goes. Just a nice, gentle. So we'll see with this little extra bit of humidity if this technique uh, helps the book relax and press out a little more cleanly. So I will see you uh, after it's out of the cold press. All right, welcome back. So the book has been in the press for, I would say a little more than 24 hours. I decided to just leave it a full day. This way I can see, uh, you know, kind of overdoing it with probably too much humidity and a lot of time in the cold press. So I want to see how this turns out and then I can scale it back as I start to experiment more with actual real books from my personal collection. But let's take a look. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the cold press very gently, just in case anything's sticking. It's not. It's got the plate on top. So I'm going to take the plate off. Set that aside. And then start to take the sandwich apart. And let's see how it turned out. Yeah, so at first glance, it worked. Definitely worked. So this is the, the without taking it completely out of the sandwich, uh, get it in frame here. You can see the bottom corner is completely flat. So that was the trouble spot right there. That was that impact damage. Let's see if I can get it even closer for you. Right there. Trying to angle it in the light. But I think you see it. I think you get it. Uh, there we go. It's gone. So I'm going to take it completely out of the sandwich. So I can see the book in total. And again, this is just a free comic book day issue. Um, and you hear that nice crunch. All crunchy there. Okay. That's okay. I even bend it this way. It's fine. Not going to hurt it. But boy, this thing looks super, super clean. Looks really, really great. So there's that, the bottom corner there. It's completely flat. It's, it's awesome. That's fantastic. Really, really happy with that. So I'm looking at it as well just to see. Um, it still has some color breaking issues. Again, that's not going to come out with a, with a press, but uh, even the spine doesn't look too bad, kind of up and down here. And I'm trying to work on that too to figure out how do I not get that sort of obvious like presser spine where it's, it's not uh, completely smooth like the normal curvature of the spine. It's just, just a very subtle... I, I've seen a lot of books like this. I've even seen graded books that have it. I don't think it's too much of a big deal, but the book looks really, really great. So very, very happy with that, that spot steaming technique. Shout out to Ultra Maximus for reminding me that a book like this really needs some humidity. So I'm going to try it a couple more times, maybe with some other uh, free comic book day books, and then get back to that nice house on the lake number two to see if we can fix that issue too. But uh, um, this, I would chalk this up to a success. So very cool. Another step in the process. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting and see you next time.